Well, welcome to episode 30 of FPL Top Dogs Valley Honest. And um, just uh, taking you through a bit of reaction from last uh, game week uh, 31. We've got game week 32 here and um, it's a normal game week. Finally, we can not plot and plan so much. Um, we're all thinking about game week 33, 36 and 37. And uh, it's, it's, I think it personally myself, it's, it's more simplified now. Uh, everybody seems to we've we've had um a story from game week one to now where we are game week 31 and uh, we've all had to do our own uh we've all kind of went our own way in the christy nicholson league um uh, we've done well to negotiate what we've been doing and um the, the final hurrah the push for the 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 places now and the christy nicholson is uh, more extreme as ever and things have tightened up quite a little bit since uh the the last game week and um welcome to fpl top dogs just giving you a little reaction and it wasn't well yesterday but be nice to get something out just for whoever uh finds uh these pods a bit useful i like to think so uh, look stephen streff streffert nolan stephen nolan's been had a, has, has having a phenomenal season um well done, like 2,049 points already, and there's seven game weeks left. Um, well, eight, well, nearly, yeah, seven. And and the, obviously, Connor Hussey, first time in, absolutely no fear, no nothing, absolutely um, destroying it. Um, Joy Neenan, there as always. And um, there's a there's Starman in fourth. Um, Adrian Phillips, very, very good season. Uh, finally having a, a, a great season to show for all his endeavour in the last, uh, well, it feels like three years uh, since his last phenomenal um, campaign. Um, and and uh, Saka and myself, well, uh, Fergie, great guns, Walsh, and myself, the guru, tie it tucked in there. I would say joined fifth, but um, Fergie ahead on transfers, less made. Um, and uh, Kylie's dropped a little bit. He had to. Um, we had too much going into that Burnley Everton game. Well, I did that uh, anyway. And um, I, unlucky with Kane there, only one assist and five goals scored against Newcastle. Um, Son was the one to be on. I, I feel this season, Son at home is just dynamite, but Kane away from home is dynamite. So let's see. Let's see if this thing plays out uh, in the coming. Um, Season. Let's have a quick look at the fixtures. Yeah, Bowen is worthy of consideration. I'm not ruling Bowen out. I think he's just gold. This is, and he deserves to be mentioned at least for a contender for player this, this season. Um, I know it's you know it's a bit of a, 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 a phenomenal season. Uh, he's come back straight from injury with his foot. Um, I thought he'd be out a bit longer, but no. And he's come back <coughs> on the goal and assist. And uh, Antonio is back back in the the winners enclosure there as well. So um, let's just see. Let's see the story. Yeah, Villa away for Spurs. Um, I'm I'm thinking myself about Captain and Kane. Of course, uh, I don't have Salah. I've not had them for a while. Do you know what? I'm glad I've I've had them. I've not missed anything. I've just had a bad feeling about Salah with the African nations and now losing out to Senegal again in the qualifying for the you know Senegal goal and qualifying now for Qatar, which will be November December. Um this year which will obviously cause postponements for the Premier League so we're going to have another mess of a uh, FPL season next year uh, I'm not going to think about that yet glad I've got Cancelo, Cancelo. Um, I never really had a choice to get any Chelsea in at the minute um, I am I'm definitely considering Chelsea they have two double game weeks as we know um, in 36 and uh, 37 Chelsea Wolves um, Leeds Chelsea um, and then the other Man United, Chelsea, fair enough, and Chelsea Leicester. The, that, the, the second of their double game weeks is tricky. But of course, if they're out, um, you know, being beaten 3 1 in the Champions League there to Real Madrid. Um, it's actually game week 32. Apologies. Um, yeah, so seven, I think seven left in here, maybe. Um, yeah, so Chelsea mightn't have to, they mightn't have any distractions in Europe. That's all I'm saying. So, but it's still a lot of games to fit in. Um, 
yeah, still be definitely Chelsea on, on my radar. Uh, I'm not sure who to get yet, really. And everyone's thinking about James, but um, I suppose Mendy's made a mistake, but I suppose he would be the, the, the rock solid, you know, and obviously Rudiger scoring goals. What a player still doing it. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think uh, I think I'd rather go for Rudiger somewhere a bit more safer than I think there'll be a lot of rotation with Chelsea. Um, we don't know where Chelsea's heads are at as well. Um, uh, something's gone off the radar. You know, being beaten by Brentford last uh, the last game week was um, nobody was expecting that, and it was a healthy a healthy defeat as well, four one. So uh, still have Tony in there. So just look at what I, what I've done. Um, <clears throat> Uh, 362,000 now to 272. So I nearly made about 90,000 there. And um, it's it's so hard to even keep that position. Um, my, my objective is to get under the 200,000. It's been always been that season. And um, wherever that takes in the league, it won't win you the Christie Nichols in the 200,000. It's rare. I don't think it ever did um, in, the, in the history. Um, it's always been something between, you know, well, last year, 79th in the world to about 50, 100,000, we say, is always. So it's that's why, you know, I have an immense pride of this Christy Nick pub league from the middle of nowhere and the middle of Mayo, middle of nowhere. Well, so middle of Connacht, actually, um, massively East Mayo on the Roscommon border, along with Gal Galway, not far. That's why I kind of refer to Harness as, you know, the, the three counties are not far away. Um, so it's a good old region, you know, and um, these guys like um, um, Connor being, um, you know, a, a, um, ba a Balanaka native, I think. Um, no Galway in here, yes, but uh, jo Joey Neen in there. So we'll have a look at him. I think Joey's got a load of his chips left. Um, I think at this stage, mostly, mostly everybody's um, down to one, one chip. I think lots of people played the bench boost, and I have that left. Um, now I know you know Stephen Stephen Stretz got no, uh, no chips left. Um, Connor did play his wild card. I know that. So what's he got left in the bag? <clears throat> um, nothing. Wild card, wild card, trip, free, free. So yeah, um, I just have the bench boost left. So that I didn't realize that. Um, mm, yeah. Anybody watching um, our other bloggers, Fantasy Football Scout or Andy from Let's Talk or FPL Mate, any of these people, um, they still have loads of stuff left. Um, most of them have a free chip left, a free the free hit one. Um, don't know what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, Joey's got a load left anyway, I know that. Um, it's kind of crazy what Joey's left. Um, the, the options is just phenomenal. I just, what's been going on here, like, You've still got the wild card, the free hit, and the bench boost. It's it's really he's 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 on the bridle. There's only three furlongs out, you know, of a two mile chase, and everybody is starting to get rustled up on the horse. The jockeys are starting to get busy on our on our guys, and uh, Joey's just still off the bridle. And the question is, does Joey have anything left in the tank? You know, because I, I always like to see a horse being, being cajoled on pretty forcefully from a little bit out. And um, sometimes it's hard to match that and um, that vigor. I don't know. You many times see a horse off the bridle just coasting up and then it's asked to ask a few questions and there's nothing there. But uh, we all know Joey's got the pedigree behind him there. And um, wow. This, I just have the feeling that the other two, Connor and Stress, are they sitting ducks there, just waiting? Uh, this is the star man. Has he anything? Has he anything? He has. He's got a bench boost, <clears throat> along with myself. Bench boost, that is not too bad. Um, you'll get another um, boost. I love the bench boost. I don't care anyone says what about, oh, it only might give you 15, to 15 10 points. Uh, that's, that's, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're anti Bench boosters, I love it. Um, I, I love it because there's a chance if you can get it right, if you can have 11 double game, well, 15 double game or weakers, somehow, 
like obviously it's the people who've used their wild card. I'm hoping by now that they if they got a bench boost less, they would have considered that bench boost for the next week. I'm sure they would. I'm sure they would. What's Fergie got? Um the great guns. They would be disappointed with that 3 0 Palace. I don't know what's going on there with Palace and, and Vier. I thought Vier would have laid down and said, There you go, here are the points. No, he didn't. Um he instructed his his team to uh to go out there and destroy his, his uh, beloved gunners. And maybe he did that. Maybe he did that because he's got his eyes on that job. And it's so obvious now. Just want, want to have a look to see what Fergie's got. Um, game of history is what we want. Um, oh, he's got a good bit left, I think. Lovely stub. Wildcard, wildcard, free hit. Oh, he's got, I think he's got a free hit and the bench boost left. Lovely. So he's, um, He's, he's in a better position than most. And um, I think he should hold me off uh, if he gets any luck. Uh, the bummer for me. I, I want to get to that. I want to, my, my ambition is really to try and sneak forth somehow. But I, I just want to keep the guys honest. Look, I, I want, you know, ta star, um, Starman and uh, Great Guns. I want them to win some sort of a trophy or something up there. The, th the, the top three as well. You can't rule out Starman there, you know, still, he's still got a shot for the, the podium place. So let's keep Starman in there. He's only about 50 down on everyone. So he could still have, a, he still has a, a, um, some sort of a chance. Um, He's got the least chance out of the top three, I know, but he's got, he's a better chance than any of us down here. Um, We're nearly a hundred down, we're over a hundred down in stretch. Um, my, my ambition is at least to be within 100. That will bring me up the rankings. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to include Starman there if you can get things right a bit. I think Fergie can close things down. Free hit is absolutely vital at, at, for next week uh, or game week 36. Most people just have um, a free hit left. As you can see, he, he, himself and Joey are the... Surely, surely, surely that free hit's going to pay off massively. But those double game weeks, I swear to uh, Andy from Let, Let's Talk FPL, he's convinced, oh, oh, um, oh, I have to have a double game week or I don't care. It's more fun for the game and uh, and I don't buy this. Oh, this double uh, is a poison channel. I th double game week, it's a bit overrated, bro. Um, I think it's form versus... Sometimes I know you want to have two. Sometimes they won't even play the first game or they play the first one and they're on the sub in the next one. So it's you want to be very careful, especially with Leicester at the moment. Leicester players, any of you Leicester players, I have myself. Um, you know, they're still in Europe. They've won one with Leon. No, that was West Ham. They have had a, a nil nil. Um uh with their with the team and uh two draws there. So West Ham and uh Leicester still in Europe so just be mindful I suppose because they're two smaller squads so as Ian Nacho is 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 interesting uh, but um for, for me personally um I'm pretty um chuffed to have decided to go under Carlson for that one and um it was only because he was in such good form with uh, Brazil it happens against Burnley there you go and but they weren't tapping well there were penalties and um I didn't realize he was back on penalties so a bit lucky there with Carl. Somebody totally bombed it there. Uh, I'll take the 75. Massive, uh, massive boost. Um, not happy with Manny whatsoever, but Salah's not tearing up a lot. I think Jota is the one there now for me. Um, but I can't waste. I've got nothing. Um, no free hit, no wild card, no nothing. So every transfer is gold. And the fact that Tierney is injured now probably for until next season. That's another transfer I didn't want to make because Arsenal have a double game week coming up. Um, Leeds have one more game along with Villa and Wolves. Um, look, I think Wolves have just as good chance to, 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 to sort out Newcastle. Newcastle have just conceded three, three, lost three in a row. And um, I don't know. It's going to be a night game. The Wolves come out tonight. Yeah, let's see. Um, Everton United. I still think that's a massively hard game for United. I think Vampire will be up for it, but Everton, seriously, they're not, they, they don't realize 
they have no, no experience fighting relegation. I am a bit worried about Everton and Lampard with a new young English manager who's got so much to prove. And what did he do with Derby? He, he lost out to them in the playoff. Like, and, and that's Everton's future. And all that money. I don't know if the Ken Wrights are still in charge of them. I don't think they are. But look at the state. Look at the state of Everton. And uh, look, United can sit back and just destroy them on the break. They have to get something out of Sancho and Ram for, uh, Rashford. Come on, like, it has to be something about United. Now, I'm, I'm debating myself about my team, what to do. Um, I've, I, I'm going to set myself up with two, uh, two transfers for Game Week 33. I haven't decided yet, but I have been. Okay, Willock now looks like he's got a bit of a flag there. I don't, I don't know what that was about. Um, was some sort of a knee thing. Okay, he mightn't be playing. Um, so that might force my hand on something, uh, or, or I mightn't. Uh, I could just, uh, you know, throw in man able. You know, um, this United and City game that's up in Manchester. I don't think it will be a cagey game whatsoever. I, th I think it'll be one of those amazing games of the season, like we saw um, the last season and this season at Liverpool that the quality is just phenomenal and I think it will be it won't be a bore nil nil um, um, so I should have enough there really um, I don't want to risk Feltman of course so much you know because uh, you know I do expect Arsenal to the, to go out there against Brighton Brighton are just absolutely nowhere near the races um I, I, look, it's against Norwich. Feltman got the clean sheet, so should have saw that one. I probably, but I wanted to play Tierney, and he didn't play. So happy days, he came on. Um, but my God, Brighton are absolutely nowhere. Like two, lost again, lost again. They lost two one there. They lost a home to Villa. Lost a home to Burnley. Lost a home to you know. I don't. My God, it's shocking. If I was a a Brighton seat, I would be just like. Maybe losing the likes of Burns and who's the other book that went to to Arsenal, you know who I'm on about. Um, losing all these books, you know it's it's got to mount up somewhere. Has to. Um, is it White, the guy from Arsenal? I forget now. It's too early in the morning. I'm just doing an early morning edition. Um. Anyway, um, so I could get away with that. I don't think so. It just depends now. Will Madison be rested? And that that's the, the crux of it there. Um, so I might be forced into two subs for with an eye and do what I'm doing this week um, for for the for the travel. And I'm thinking about getting Fred in Fred the Red. I know it's crazy, but he at least it won't be. Okay, maybe maybe they will get look. I don't know where United are at. Um, I, I can't. I, I wouldn't be too gone on them ever to away in the atmosphere. Norwich under Dean Smith has just been phenomenal. I mean, like they they're plucky and they're they're keeping things tight. I'm not saying they're going to look. I think it was United drew a home to Watford, so um, I'm sure CR seven will be back for that. Can't cry off again. So. Uh, you know, they'll get a penalty then they'll run up to two or three so that's I think you know they're a good bet so I am thinking about bringing in 4.9 um, million Fred um, because I was I, I said this ages ago this guy is a handy guy he's handy to have on the bench and he'd come on and he's scoring goals people might laugh at me but um, when, when you're in my situation I can't follow up Andy from uh, Let's Talk does um, and just plonk it on Salah on a, a single game week. That to me, that wasn't fun. And he made, oh, it might be boring. It is boring. Is it? But when you're top 26,000 in the world, you tend to clam up a bit and protect what you have. I'm in a good position. But for him, it seems 26,000 is not, you know, for, you know, he's got higher, loftier ambitions than just 26,000. Um, but God, my God, I'd have a no nosebleed by then. Um, so Tierney would have to go um, 
I really didn't want Tierney to go because I wanted to I wanted two midfielders there to go out because I got Rafinha out. That's it's going to be. I think it's the time to get rid of Rafinha. I can't stand the guy. I've just kept him. I don't know. He's a he's um he's not a victim. He's actually you know a beneficiary of of circumstance for me. I've just not had a way to get him out. I had other problems and issues. Now with Tierney out. Okay, I could have Veltman there. Uh, Tarkovsky's got a load of games still left. Two playing goalkeepers, so I, I I could be happy with that. Although you know Brighton at home, you can trust them a bit. Dependent, so I could just leave Tierney there and try and get rid of these two. And um, I I like to have a bit of United in there because of what's coming up. And this is for game week thirty three. Um, I'm not too worried about this. So Fred the Red, it's, a lot of it's about Gus. I had a Gus about Rick Carlson. Uh, that worked out. And against United, it's like he, he likes the big occasion. I don't know why people don't talk about him. Um, um, I haven't watched your man, uh, Andy's for, um, transfer tips. So 4.9, I'll take that. Um, he's playing all the games. And the other stuff is a 7.9 three who what sort of what sort of yoke is out there for 7.3 see I'm, yeah, I'm only really looking at doublers you know is it possible Brentford Burnley see, there's just nothing there double wise I know I hate it just three very difficult games two easy ones um so it's hard to take a take a risk Gallagher's in form now. Or Pro or Prowse. I'm going to come to this problem when I see it. I'm not going to solve it now. So just getting back to the, the league here. So um, Steve Stretz done his Weggy. He went for Weggy. Uh, Cancelo is a very good move. Um, everyone should have Cancelo at this stage. He's got his bit of Chelsea. That's perfect. Um, okay. Robinson is a is 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 what you want if you don't have a TAA. Coutinho is phenomenal for uh, they have a load of game weeks. Villa have I think a double back to back game week and Coutinho is definitely on the radar for that. Uh, but he not playing. Saz not playing for game week thirty three. I'm not even talking about game week thirty two. So it's uh, Fino will be out for that. Um, obviously Ramsey won't be playing so he got four white yeah white was the guy that I was trying to think of um, good good for the bench very handy to have the Arsenal for their double game weeks coming up I don't know about Wakehurst I really have no idea Vidra scored the other day and I had him for bloody ages I couldn't get rid of him um, and eventually did Kane fair enough but we all want Son isn't it but I, I'm going to persist for Kane myself so I think looking at Strett's team he is pretty well set in a way. Uh, he still has a transfer. He can throw. If he saves his two transfers for game week 33, you know, he can keep his Coutinho and Ramsey. Um, he can put the Bravka on there. So he, he's not too goosed at all, really. I think his, for me, looking at Strat's team, it's very flexible to the situation. And I think he could limp. No, I don't think he'd even be limping. I think he would, you know, <laughs> even though he's got no chips, I think, you know, just thinking his feet, um, for instance, if De Bruyne is racking a few in, you know, has he got something to twiggle about with? Could that be the move to keep him in first place? I'm not saying De Bruyne, but it could be, is is that the move? Is Salah still, he is a trump card. I don't have him. And I'm worried every week he gets on the pitch. Um, so got away with it so far so obviously I think Rafinha will be it just de depends you know it's all by gut now and any micro decisions you do now they will be intricately important uh, down the line and that's where we are it's finely balanced especially in the top four here uh, the guru or the other guru we get a Guinness guru oh I'm the guru well, he's the guru this season, Connor Huss. Uh, he's the Hussmeister. Um, let's give it the eye treatment. Um, okay, Doherty's all the rage. Um, he's not happy with not having son, but 
can you, how can you squeak in sun for Kulisesi? Obviously, you're hoping uh, Kulisesi will kind of cover sun um, or even Kane. But um, yeah, I, I have Kane and I'm just going to stick with that. Um, I like sun, but Sa Salah, of course, you have to have Salah. You're so high up in the league. Uh, Wake Horse is a, is a bummer. Um, Ramsdale, I think also he's back. He's got a um, sub appearance, but no, he no, it wasn't. He, he, he's conceded three goals, so that was a good decision to keep Sanchez there. That was a good shout. Those micro decisions are what I'm on about. You know, he rather there probably was a doubt of Ramsdale, so he kept him on the bench and put on Sanchez. That's good stuff. Like, I'm lucky with James, uh, but he's got cancel cancel. Um, don't think James the player he played full minutes uh, in the Madrid three one defeat. Martinelli is interesting, but for me it's he's had one good game and I had him, I had him for a free hit. That's when he went away and he scored a couple of goals. I think it was against Villa, not sure. And that was it for me with Mart Martinelli. Um, Cucho, not sure about that. Um, so there is mm, he has no more chips or no nothing left at all. <clears throat> Saka fine. Um, the Arsenal will be handy. They have double game week. Gordon has proved to be probably the most interesting pick of the Everton apart from Carlson. I don't know what DCL is doing really. I didn't watch the game, but I didn't see much of DCL. Um, I didn't notice him playing at all. If he was, um, that's good to have TAA and Robertson. That's interesting. So. Yeah, it's just going. Connor's just going to have to um, sail the ship with his own boat and own sail. Same with um, Strat and going forward. But here's a Joey, a phenomenal player, perennial stalwart of the game. Um, good to have him in the league, of course, always. Um, good guy. And um, looking at his team, he's still free hit. Bench boost and wild card. So he's got the dream chips available. And he can set himself up for a bench boost, which will probably be 15 starters. And that's why I like the bench boost, is people just really underestimate the bench boost. Oh, it's not. And then they get tricked in that false sense of rubbishness that they think they were. Oh, oh the, the bench boost is the worst chip. It's. Uh, you might get to 10 to 20 points most top. So I don't I don't buy that at all, mate. You've got four guys on the bench and all of them could have a double game week. For me, that's eight chances. Eight. Eight chances. That's nearly another team. It all depends how you set up um your you set up your um you know your wild card and make sure you have guys that are playing like this out Nori at Wang. I don't trust them as far as you could throw them, whether they start or they don't start. I don't like that. So I think he's still got, with his wild card, he's obviously going to have to get rid of tyranny. Going to have to do something soon. Um, he's, I don't think he's in much of a threat. I think he's like he's only 24 points down. That can be well made easy on what the chips he has. Um, I think the wild card, obviously, he, he could play it this week. No one that's, there's no Rafinha, there's no Wolves, and there's no Villa. Um, and there you go. He's sorted for game week 33, and then he can have the free hit for 36 or 37, depending on if West Ham make it all the way to the final, then Sissy's game will be transferred um, against West Ham. I think we'll go into game week 37, I think, or one or the Wolves game, one or the other. Um, so, yeah, Joey's uh, been on the right. Tottenham, any? He's... He's got that knack of being on the right player all the time. Doherty and Son is is a knacky player, and I think he watches a lot of stuff and he he draws the best out of all the bloggers and himself. And that's what we all try to do. I don't try to copy anyone, and I won't copy. I rather finish dead last than copy somebody, knowing that in my heart and soul I copied somebody. Um. So he's on all the right players. All these players, even Weghorst, of course. You, most people would have let him off with another two, but I didn't trust him after the last double game week he had, and I wouldn't get him in. Just uh, stuck fit with Antonio. So all his top 11 um, 
Antonio is a, a fair play for sticking there a bit. He, he's brought something, but I'd rather have Bowen instead of Antonio by a mile. How can he fit in another midfielder, of course? But Bowen isn't a lot to be, although he's got two good game weeks coming. Uh, he's got three difficult ones, and I don't know if West Ham will really be up for them, especially if they're still in the Europa. And that's a serious Champions League spot for them. Uh, never mind the fourth place. Uh, they can go and win this bloody thing. They just they have Barcelona to it's the biggest uh, Leon to get first past uh, first uh, first uh, place of course to get past first. Um, yeah, so Starman looking at good stuff. Bar yeah, I know Barnes. People are going for Barnes, handy enough, but he's he's really done not not not, not an awful lot since he's come back. I think he's got an attack and return all right out of three, but a match is handy, of course. Bench, um, he's really been handy enough. I know that very cheap. Um, so I think Starman's got something left. Of course, I think he must have. Does he, has he played everything? Funny feeling that um, he's got maybe a bench boost left, but he mightn't. But whatever the story is. His team, he's got Tony, he's got a nice bench. He's got lots of options. He could have done with Son, I know that. Um, Saka, well, obviously, everybody, if you've got Saka, keep him. Same with Doherty. Cody, Ramsey, you've got a few that need to be, uh, he's got plenty of options. It's a very, very, you know, it's a powerfully sort of, powerful sort of team, you know, a great bench. TEA to come back in easy enough. Um, I think the worst thing about Starman is, is which ones to play, really. If they don't have a double game week, he's going to have lots of bench decisions and that can be infuriating to have five or ten points on the bench and no hope of them getting on. And Ramsey is going to have to boil a bit. He'll probably keep him up, throw him in on there and have um, TEA in there. Um, against City now, yeah, I know. Against Man City coming up next. Um, yeah, so he's got lots of uh, captaincy options as well. So, yeah, um, yeah, Starman is plugging away. He won't be happy with that game week, of course. Uh, everybody was on, uh, as you can see in the Christie, you know, Salah, 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 um, Salah, 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 Salah. Well, a good shout out for. You know, Dave Martin there. Uh, 15th, he's coming back a bit. Uh, gone for a Carlson as well. I think I um, gave him a little tip there. My mate. Uh, John Kelly gone for a Carlson as well. Well done. And there there were all the cricket scores. Uh, anyone were Carlson captain. And we all know um, John Kelly, um, our double time winner. He is a massive Everton fan. He is a toffee. So, of course, he would be on the Everton. And uh, I like a bit of Everton. I like a bit of Everton. Uh, although <laughs> uh, that's no consolation to uh, Fat Frank on the touchline, it's got like, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know what, what to feel. Everton have just feel lost with money. They've thrown it all over the shop, and now they have to rely. They didn't have Keener Kane. That's of Kane. Didn't have Kane for. Um, it was suspended, obviously, at West Ham when they lost. And I thought they were awful unlucky to lose to West Ham. And I think they've been pretty unlucky to... Although Burnley scored three legitimately good goals against two penalties. So, come on, you know, Burnley, you can't keep a good dog down and they're dogs of war. And usually it's Everton are the dogs of war, not Burnley. Mopai's still stuck in there. So um, there's John, 1696. He's still... You can tell, like, with that Carlson pick, that, that he's only in there a while. So, John is still plugging away a bit. So, going to mainly sell a show. Um, uh, I've talked about myself. What about um, great guns? Um, I want to get a, a couple of city myself. I think that's a good, shrewd move, Elderson. Uh, Cancelo's a must. Doherty's fine. Ramsey's great for a double game week later on. Throw him on the bench. I think Fergie still got his free hit and bench boost. So, um, Coronet is a great shout. 
great shout for Corne there. Um, I think he's done everything right here. Um, obviously, Son will be lovely, but I think Kane will Kane will have his day, especially away from home. I feel against Villa. Um, I think I would be captaining Kane myself against Villa. And he's got a good bench, although Dennis made the sub appearance. But the uh, okay, Tierney's out now, TAA. So he's got a little bit of micro surgery to do there. Um, yeah, but I just a shout out for Corne there. That's proper hurling. That is, um, I've always been looking at Corne, um, but I've held always held off, and I was kind of always prove right until he's come really. And he the last goal five minutes from time, the winner. You know, you know, you just got to applaud the guy uh, for that massive goal, phenomenal. And uh, African nations player, and they're all the rage. I'm telling you, they're all the rage. Uh, that's myself. Talked about what I was doing. Well, Kieran Kiley got in um, Robertson instead of TA. I think that's a bold move. I still stick with TA. Fabianski. Okay, that's um, sideways sort of move uh, for me. Um, so he's honest. He's Listen, the main thing is to finish top 10 because I'm going to get the wife to do a few hats, hopefully, a different colour and different year. Okay, so um, let's see what that, Breuer, still persistent with Breuer. I, I'm not touching any Southampton strikers. For me, it, between Adams, um, Armstrong, Breuer could score, Ward Prowse could score. Really, you want to have a full team of 11 of Southampton and you're sure, you know for a fact, one of them is going to score. That's not how you play it. Um, da, 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 da. Not a great bench. Keep Coutinho. I'm not, I don't think uh, Kylie's got anything left. No more chips. Um, it's going to be tricky. Minus four already done. This, this feels a bit like the water's coming in the floorboards of the ship. Uh, plugging the gaps. Firefighting. Um, yeah, Coutinho is fine, but not for game week um, 33. Uh, Cody, not going to be there. Rafinha, and he's got nothing on the bench, really. Um, I, I, he, he could end up, he's going to have to keep his role of transfer, have to get rid of a couple. He should be fine. But fine isn't bringing you up the table if, as you say it will just keep you treading water now the oracle played his bench boost um he's totally gutted um and that's the alarm that's that alarm is to tell me to wake up for work uh and i will leave it with the oracle because marky played his bench boost it's like the petulance of youth you know, I'm going to finish above you. I'm going to finish. And you finish, you're finishing above them, not even for like the end of the game week. You know, at the end of the weekend, it was looking bad for me until the two penals and um, were Carlson. So, ka-ching. Um, okay, Marky, like the, the, uh, just talking direct, 1908, okay. Um Thing. I'm not sure if you got. I don't think. I think all your chips, all the, all his chips are gone at this stage. Um, I think. Um, I think Kieran is just waiting there to be caught. Uh, I, I think. I think he. Can, uh, look. Let's have a look at your team. Well, Salah can come good. That's a big. That's a big risk. That I. I have Coutinho's fine for the double game week. I don't like Breuer. Tony's fine. Good stuff. That's a good bench. Everton still have double, I think a double game week. Um, not sure. I think they still do have something in reserve. Um, but I'm not sure about Gray. Uh Bolly, okay. I think he scored the other day, but he won't have play in the game week. Uh he's fine for this game week. Chalaba was a bit of a risk. It was a cheap alternative, but he probably played the next day. He plays every second game or something. But watch out if he's playing in the Champions League in the second leg against Real Madrid. Tierney's out now. is coming back. Um, Salah wasn't the same without TA the other day when they, uh, when um, they won 2-0, wasn't it? Um, I think it was against Watford. And with Salah just 
doesn't look the same with LTA down the right. So um, didn't play, but he should be fine um, coming back. The bench isn't too bad. Um, Kosesh is fine. Imagine if we had Son there, but it's very hard to fit a Son and Kane with a Salah. Um, God, there's a bit to do there, Marky. Um, I think for this game week, yeah, it should should be fine. Um, these guys, you got a playing bench. They can you can get all these guys in, and you can get out roll your your two transfers for game week thirty three, and get something attacking. You, uh, for me, I always look at, you know, the first. Uh, I look at somebody like. I'm not even looking at the top three. I look at something like Starman, something that's re a reasonable goal for me to kind of trudge to. That's what me and Great Guns, and for you, I suppose, you should be looking at. Obviously, probably me, I, su I suppose, in a way, or, or Fergie, or even or even Starman as well. Look at them and see what can I do in my team that might be. And for me, it was Rickarlson. That was the, the biggest threat I could figure out that um, could close down a few points. And um, that's I think that's the way you got to play it. Um, out of respect for uh, the sniper, quick look white. Okay, some good double game week guys there. Um, Kane is fine, he's it's a, it's a bit of a hodgepodge, uh, very colorful, and getting a bit you know blurry here. Havertz, oh, so frustrating, and he's meant to be playing a false number nine, and it's not scoring. And if Chelsea of I don't know where Chelsea are at, or Rodrigo's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of you know, 50-50 guys, even Willock is a 50-50. I found him a 50-50 having him. Um, Pookie, 50-50. Havertz, 50-50 a lot. 50-50, 50-50. Laporte, even though he's playing, I still think of him as a 50-50. Um, it's basically on when the dog has a stay, this thing is going to destroy somebody. But overall, the average over time, you know, will Pookie score that hat trick? Will Gray? Gray's done nothing for ages. Oh my God. I know he's been injured, but when he's, he's getting chances and he, you know, I don't know what's going on there. He was so lethal at the beginning of the season, wasn't he? Um, Dyer. I want to have Doherty. It's just that Dyer is 50 50, not even 50 50. Um, Morgan Lyons. Kind of fallen back a bit. He's hemorrhaging points. He's yeah, De Bruyne. Obviously, is this what I mean? You have to have something different when you're a bit further back. Um, sniper, uh, sniper is fine. Sniper need better hold top ten because you did in that season. Morgan better hold top ten as well. I'm I'm warning you. These guys. Look, um, Dave McNamara finishing fourth last season. Not had not had the season he'd want this year. But these guys. Well, I reckon it's John Halpin really could sneak in for the cap. So be careful, Morgan. Um, I like De Bruyne. He's a good differential against all of us in the top. So you, you want to have some dudes that most of us don't have. Um, yeah, a ball on the bench, help. Oh, mercy me. Um, okay, keep, keep balling on playing. Uh, I'd get rid of Dennis. D -d -d nothing but trouble. Dennis the Menace for me. Dennis the Menace. Cast down the guy ever since he got sent off in petulance, not going to the African nations against uh, Norge. That was it for me. That was it me for most of the King. Oh, nobody wants them. It's seriously, get rid. Um, a lot of wolves there. Be careful. I hope you have something. I hope for um, not for, but Morgan, uh, Morgan, um, the prodigy has got something on chips in reserve. If he had a wild card or a free hit, well, definitely wild card. Fine, fine, fine. Maybe not wild card. So Southampton have double game week. Fine, fine. Not fine, not fine. Ramsdale, good, good switch there. Unfortunately, the wrong way around. But it's not, not, not too far off being really good. You've got TA to come back. It just needs a bit of power here in the top three forwards. It needs something a bit. Uh, if I was Morgan, I'd get and find a way to get in Son with. De Bruyne, find a, there's maybe a lot of money on the bench there, but um, maybe these dudes just came on because the, he wasn't playing or something. And 
I just think them three are the ones you need to be looking at. Him in for Kilman, uh, Bowen in for Dennis, and then find a way to get it. Kane won't be getting you anywhere, but there's not not much good value out there. Maybe 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 Carlson or I don't know. Uh, I just I just feel there's something a bit missing in Morgan's team there, and that's where we'll leave it for today. Um, time to go to work. And I thought I'd get something in before this game week. Uh, not much to say really in regard to it. A uh, quick look at the standards of the King of the Travers. Um, Kieran Kai might have, well, um, something must have happened there because he's, uh, what happened to Kieran there in this? Oh, yeah. So the Hussmeister takes out on row and Kylie loses to Stephen Noel and what a massive, massive. So things aren't looking straightforward. Connor Huss is back. And the King of the Travellers and, and the Stratmeister has not given up the chase. Uh, nine back, it's a massive amount. That means you've got he's got to win three. The other one's got to lose three. It's and and uh, Hussmeister is stalking the long dog. So uh, yeah, less said about myself. I gave up on that thing ages ago. Unfortunately, there you go. I've won it enough. So uh, time for new blood, isn't it? Okay, thank you guys. Um, give a like and subscribe if you manage to do whatever. And God bless. Take care. And um, I do. I do like to say bye bye and a whole lot and everything. Pick team. Yeah, I go. I probably go with something like this of so Shemichael, Tarkovsky, the two two playing against each other so in Liverpool. Give Rafinha one last chance. Sack is a no brainer. Mul medicine play. Probably not. He played all the minutes against uh, uh, in, your, in the conference. And Mane, that's hit and miss now. Um, if I think I would be thinking of putting Willock on there in case he plays against Wolves, Mane, you never know. But I just, oh, maybe I'll give him one last chance, Mane. Um, against City. We're a very good team. Uh, Carlson, I got to give him a chance against this. So I'm happy enough to roll that. No transfers, no nothing. Just let it go. And uh, that's where I want to be, top 200,000. That's, I'm telling you, it's not, I'm not going to let that lie down without a fight. Okay, folks, thanks for watching and listening. Um, if you stay to the end, thanks. God bless. You, you learn your reward in the kingdom of heaven of FPL and uh, Guru out.